right. Howdy. <laughs> oh, here's Jaden. Hey guys. How He's are you? alive and well. I am alive and well. <laughs> Howdy. Hello. Now I got people. Anna. Livy. Hi, guys. Okay, I owe you guys a story time. I'm so sorry. I didn't check in. And I'm sitting in the sauna right now, so my phone actually may die. I shouldn't be sitting in the sauna with the phone. But anyway. Hi, guys. Bye. All right. Howdy. <laughs> oh, here's Jaden. Hey, guys. How He's are you? alive and well. I am alive and well. <laughs> okay, so what happened to Jaden? Here we go. December 27th, Jaden had his tonsils taken out and his adenoids. Um, it was Hell supposed to yeah. be just like a routine um, surgery, nothing crazy, nothing out of the norm. He came home. By day five, he started feeling like amazing. No, it was day three. Was it day three? I think it was day three. Okay, day three, he started feeling amazing. But by day five, it was like we weren't worried anymore. Hi, Brazil. Um, so anyway, day five, Jaden went to baseball, and he was hitting. And on his way home, he called me, and he was like, Hey, Ma, I think I should go to the hospital. My tonsils are bleeding. And I was like, No, 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 just come on home. We'll do like a little like wash, like a little gargle, and you'll be straight. I hate the hospital. Yeah, me too, especially after this. Mm -hmm. Anyway, Jaden says, Mom, I think I should send you some pictures. So he sent me some pictures. I didn't think I said that. I just kept sending her point fives, just chill photos. Yeah, but... I just kept sending her point fives, just chill photos. Yeah, but they were freaking me out. Okay, so he was like bleeding so much. There was like a puddle of blood. He was 40 minutes away from me, so I couldn't get to him fast enough. So uh, DJ walked in the door and I was like, we have to go right now. Jaden is going to the hospital. And I told Jaden on the phone, I was like, call 911, um, go to the hospital, I'll meet you there. So he called an ambulance, an ambulance came and picked him up, which by the way, we were not very happy about because they were, it took them like 12 minutes to get to Jaden. Meanwhile, I'm like worried he's going to bleed out. He kept trying to talk to me too. It was kind of funny. And I was like, oh, I physically can't fucking talk because... There was so much blood and blood clots that I just couldn't, but I was good. It was awful, guys. It, like, looked like a crime scene. He had blood <laughs> all over his shoes, covered his shirt. It was crazy. He even had an Essentia bottle that was, like, more than a quarter filled with just blood. It was insane. Anyway, so he gets to the hospital. Um, he tells the ambulance that he's fine. He can just walk in. Which I, I was fine. You're not supposed to do that. Anyway. I was fine. Were you fine, though? Mm -hmm. I was. Okay, so they don't make him get in a wheelchair. They just let him walk in, and he walks in, and everybody in the emergency room turns and looks at him. Shouldn't be doing that while I was in the sauna. It gets too hot, and my phone heats up. All right, here we go. So anyway, it takes 12 minutes. He gets to the ER. He tells the paramedics that he could just walk into the hospital, which they're not supposed to do. They're supposed to put him in a wheelchair and take him into the hospital when he has bled out that much, which was significant. So he gets, hey, babe. I'm on live. Oh, man. I'm on live with everybody. Oh. Do you want to say hi? Uh, sure. Okay. Say hi. What's up, everybody? This is story time. What? Story time? What's story time? <laughs> Talking about Jaden's story. All right, here we go. So he walks in, everybody in the ER is just like staring at him, looks crazy. And um, he's like, happy new year, because this actually happened on January 1st. Like what a way to start your new year, right? So anyway, the whole medical team comes out and they're like trying to assess him and figure out what's going on. They take him back immediately to the OR. They start, like, working on him, freaking out. He keeps losing blood. Um, I get there, run in. I have DJ with me, and I have Thalo with me. We run in. They can't get the bleeding to stop. It's just, like, it just keeps, like, coming out. So they're trying to, like, put tubes down his throat. They can't because blood clots have, like, trapped his... They can't because blood clots have like trapped his airway. And so he was starting to have difficulty breathing. And um, so we were all like, you know, trying our best to like stay calm, not freak out. Um, yes, he is okay, by the way. Um, and so they said, we're gonna have to rush him back to surgery. 
Um, they started bringing in blood, so they had to give him like three bags of blood while he was there. And um, Jaden was like super chill like the whole time. Like he never freaked out. He was like telling me like, Ma, it's going to be okay. I'm going to be totally fine. Like, don't worry. Like he was like super brave like the entire time. It was like amazing. I don't know how he had such incredible composure, but he did. So they took him back to surgery and they had to cauterize his, um, his tonsils so that the bleeding would stop and the surgery was successful. So now we are on day 10 after the surgery and Jaden is doing great. Um, soon he'll be able to go back to baseball and he had a full recovery. So that's what was going on. A lot of you have been asking like where I've been, why I haven't been posting, that kind of thing. So, you know, we just had like some things like that come up. I know you guys saw the pictures online. A lot of you were sending me DMs and, and really worried and thank you for that come up. I know you guys saw the pictures online. A lot of you were sending me DMs and, and really worried and thank you so much. We appreciate all the love and support. Um, Jaden is totally fine and he is recovered and that's it. That's the end of my story time. So I wish you guys a happy 2024 and I promise I will be better about lives in 2024, okay? All right, you guys have a great night. Bye. Let's hit it. We the people all across the nation.